Okay, the title of my project is How Can My Voice Be Heard and uh, Learning to Become an Active Citizen. Area of focus um, was individualized instruction that targets critical thinking and problem solving while creating civic literacy. That's what I wanted to focus on was the civic literacy. Uh, skills that were targeted, uh, creativity and innovation, critical thinking and problem solving, communication and collaboration. My research question, how can I plan a more innovative, personalized, and individualized approach to learning activities that will allow my students to use 21st century skills to understand civic literacy? Um, so what I did was I took content standards that are already in place and paired them with the incorporation of 21st century themes. Uh, civic literacy, participating effectively in civic life through knowing how to stay informed and understanding governmental processes. So not only did I want to just teach them about the levels of government or the branches of government, but I wanted them to apply the knowledge and actually get hands-on in their community with um, that process. Exercising the rights and obligations of citizenship at local, state, national, and global levels. This was done with fifth grade. And uh, when they came to me, they didn't really have a concept of how we make laws or how things are decided in their town. So that's where we applied the understanding the local implications of civic decisions. Um, students will learn how to participate effectively in civic life gain an understanding of governmental processes, learn the functions of government, examine and address current legislation issues, examine the importance of rights and obligations of citizenship. So my action plan, research. Um, they researched themselves about government, how it works, and then we had class activities. We have started way back with colonial government and compared that to government now. And we've had guest speakers, and the biggest thing and the funnest thing for the kids has been attend a physical court meeting. Very eye-opening to them, very eye-opening to me, because they had no idea how government is ran. Um, and then propose solutions to school problems and present that to our site base. Instructional impacts of the project, increased use of technology. We did use the money to buy Chromebooks. Um, it was student-centered, facilitated instruction, more in individualized approach to learning. Uh, we've done a lot on Google Classroom, which is um, it's just wonderful to use in the classroom. This is the third year we've used it, and it's just really beneficial, especially on days when the copier is broken, which has been most of our school year. <laughs> Uh, collaboration, increased use of formative assessment to guide planning of instructional activities and increased student engagement. This is a picture of our kids at the, in front of the courthouse. And this is a picture in our physical court meeting. Uh, one of the things that um, stuck out to me at this meeting when one of the kids at the end, they asked the kids if they had any questions. This girl says, uh, what does it mean when you make all those motions? She thought they should be up moving around when they said, make a motion to adjourn <laughs> yeah so um i think it was good for them to get out and see how the government works and not just um hearing about it in the classroom and uh, this is student reflection she said that she learned a lot of things in um, her town that she didn't know happened and he said, when we went to the physical court meeting, I saw things that we had learned about in class. It helped me learn more about the process, like approving bills or how highways are named. Because they did vote to name a highway at this meeting. And she said, being out of the classroom to witness what takes place in court was an amazing experience. Being in the courtroom helped me understand how decisions are made in my county. It showed me how they discuss subjects and make decisions. I learned many things by going to a court meeting. So next step, students are currently working on school issues and solutions, and they are going to be presenting that to SiteBase. So they're right now thinking about things that they would like to change in their school.